Well, tonight, an Indianapolis woman is in jail accused of causing a crash. It claimed the life of a 72-year-old man on the city's east side. Tonight, Jesse Wells has much more on the victim and what led to the arrest. Jesse? The fatal crash took place outside this food pantry back in mid-February. While it took nine months for criminal charges to be filed against the driver responsible, some say the case can still serve an important safety lesson for everyone who gets behind the wheel. Standing in line outside the Old Bethel and Partners food pantry near 21st and Franklin, a 72-year-old man died in February after being hit by an SUV and crushed against the building. It's not something that I'll forget. I don't have my grandfather here anymore, and that hurts. Nine months after the crash killed Jeffrey Ayers, Brandy Cooper feels the loss of her grandfather every day. It's been really heart-wrenching. Um, you go from talking to your grandfather every day um, to silence. According to court records, the driver who caused the crash told police she accidentally put the car into drive instead of reverse and accelerated into the victim. While police say the suspect didn't show signs of being under the influence on scene, officers sent a blood sample to the Marion County Crime Lab. Tests there showed a blood alcohol level of .101. That is above the legal limit, leading to charges being filed against 48-year-old Indra Gomes this month for causing the death while intoxicated. These crashes are 100% preventable. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration claims more than 10,000 people die each year nationwide from drunk driving crashes. That's why Mothers Against Drunk Driving insists that impairment begins before there are any visible signs. I think it's a big misconception that basically you're fine unless you're at that legal limit of 0 .08. We know that's definitely not true. For her part, Jeffrey's granddaughter wishes her family's grief reminds everyone to act responsibly when driving. It's just, it's hard. They say don't drink and drive for a reason. Finally, the suspect is being held on a $40,000 bond and is due in court for an initial hearing later this week. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. Jesse, thank you. Time is running.